Hello, amazing people. As you can see, we have the latest edition of the Digimon Digital Hazard for the digital card game. And you saw, I'm close to the camera. I, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This just came out. And yeah, like, I don't know. Do you like cool and epic cards? Because I know I do. And that's why a lot of you are here. Because you love all things TCG, CCG, anime, and hopefully me too. And if not, it doesn't matter. If you just want to enjoy the cards, we're going to dive into this. No more talking, no more nonsense. Well, actually, we're going to be talking, but no more looking at my face. We're going to be looking at the cards. So, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you below. All right, beautiful people. So I just ripped some of the plastic off on the side so you don't see me struggle, but we're doing the rest together. There we go. Got to make it all pretty and nice. Oh my gosh, you already know. You gotta pop the top off to make this more official. Even though I'm, s why, why do I always struggle at this? There we go, okay, I don't know. There we go. Um, so our box topper is Imperial Dream On Dragon Mode. So I think this is just like the box topper everyone gets, I think, unless, I don't know, maybe it is random, just because I saw someone else um, on YouTube Oh, what is? All right, there we go. I don't know what uh, my camera did, so I don't know if you saw it, but I saw other people online open it up. So I'm gonna try to be delicate, because I feel like whenever they're in this, it's like, they're like, yes, damage your cards, damage your cards. But, and yeah, it doesn't, this is so silly. Oh, actually, you know what? They have the side opening too on this. So that's my fault, I didn't see that, so. At least I finally got it now because, yeah, I feel like the plastic is so flimsy where these are in that it kind of just, you know, makes, the, makes it more prone for issues to happen. So we got our trusty sleeve to the side because why not have this beautiful card protected? Because I love how it looks. I'm sure all of you do too. So we're going to have that more to the back and we're going to start taking out packs. And this is a juicy, juicy box. So I'm excited to dive into this because hey, you know, if you can't dive into a juicy steak, whether you can't casually eat it all the time or you're vegan or anything, you want to enjoy it. <sighs> wow. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, this gets me hyped up. I, the artwork, just everything makes me think of the show. Amazing, okay. Wow, nice, 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 nice. Um, so the pile that I like to do is, you know, I'm gonna separate from cool hollows to the basic kind of rare hollows. And then rares to the side, cause, I mean, not rares, uh, commons and stuff to the side because no one likes things that aren't shiny. We're just gonna showcase shiny. Even though sometimes the non-hollows can have value too, but you know, I'll look into that later. For now, we're just diving into the enjoyment of the cards. Oh, love it. I, I literally, he, he was just always doing acrobatics and shooting Gatling guns on his arms like, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Okay. Okay, Takato Matsuki. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, if you didn't know, he's basically inside of Galtamon too. Oh my god. Uh, it makes me. Every, yeah, this was one of my favorite Digimons too. Just because. Well, what was it? Yeah, Digimon Tamer. Just because they kind of had those cool, kind of Tamagotchi looking uh, watches that they would just like scan across themselves. And yeah. I don't know. And then the fact that they then fused in with the Digimon too. I, it was just so beautiful. Wow. Okay. Mega Draymond, oh my gosh. I don't know if it was like multiple episodes or just like a movie, but no, I, it, like when it's like, you know, he's so powerful, he loses control. This is unbelievable, unbelievable. Cause then it's the whole, you know, battle of like kind of every type of show where it's like, use your heart to, you know, free yourself from, you know, the evil within, you know. It, that's what I love though. Every anime, I don't care, you know, that it's overplayed. But like when rage kind of like takes you over and you go into epic beast mode, I love it. Like you see that even with now like recent animes like the rising of the shield hero. And it's like, he has that whole thing of like, ah, oh, don't do that. 
Marine Angemon. I feel like people just would love this for the cute factor. Um, because again, I don't know if it's actually useful in the game. But, uh, like I said in previous videos, one day I'm gonna make a deck using all the cards because, that I have that I think are cool because I wanna make a deck. I wanna enjoy these, you know? That's the whole point of these, to uh, collect what I think is cool and try to have fun with them, you know? Not everything is about monetary value. Oh, this is also just adorable. Wow. I feel like this also probably was a full art card that I'm missing out on, but um, she was an awesome character too. So I, I, I appreciate what you're doing, Digimon. I appreciate this. And you know, maybe we will grab a full art version because we still have plenty more to go. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited to you know see later on what other cards they have all together. And, cause also, like, Raomon, like, just, uh, I, I would want this card hollow, even if it's not worth much, like I said, just because, love the Digimon, love the character, love the whole concept behind it all. Yeah. And Henry Wong, Impmon, uh, I, I would love to have, uh, Bezelmon too, just, you know, to be next to each other. Cause yeah, he turned into Bezelmon. That's also what I loved about him, because, you know, it's like, I feel like Digimon was kind of the more intense uh, Pokemon with some of it, like, especially this arc, that's why I loved it so much, because, like, for instance, Impmon is, like, also, like, I feel like he was, like, Meowth, but, like, cooler where it's, like, he's, like, oh, do I want to really fight for evil or be part of the good guys, and then, you know, you had that whole point where it's, like, then he's, like, kind of getting beat up, and then... You know, it kind of turns into that anti-hero. Kind of like, um, you know, Stain. I feel like he had kind of that Stain energy before Stain. Um, which we also opened up, uh, the CCG for My Hero Academia. So, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, Mega Gargamon. Oh, I loved it too. Okay, I was going to be sad at first, but yeah, luckily you see it. Because some of the rockets had, like, the smiley face on it too. Um, so, yeah, that... That made me happy. And don't worry, everyone. Everything is getting sleeved. I'm just, you know, trying not to take too much time because there's a lot of packs in here. So I'm going to try to take out a stack and just, you know, so it's easier to grab them off camera. There we go. Because, you know, that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to be fast. But also, I mean, I don't want to be too slow, but also I don't want to be too fast. Because, like I said, everything is about enjoying it. And there's a story to it. Because also, I did um, NBA cards recently. But, uh, I literally had a business call coming, so I feel like I rushed that video and I didn't want to, like, redo it. Because, like, once you already opened it up, he almost, okay, Ryu Akiyama, I don't know, but he literally just looks like he's ready to be part of, um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Because he looks like he has, like, that futuristic, but yet cowboy biker look. Reaper. I, for some reason, I feel like this is probably a really good card. Even though, like, my, you know, magical senses aren't tickling myself because, I don't know. I, I just feel like, I just try to think about, like, what I could remember more from what I watched. That's why certain cards, you saw certain reactions. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. I just like looking around because, like I said, a lot of them have really nice styles. That's what I love. It's like, it's literally a gorilla, but then it's like you just add Mon. But sorry, he literally has a rock. And that's also what I found so cool is like, it was like, they're monsters, but then magically adapt into having like metal attachments. Well, I just realized Talmon is not like a dope hollow. Maybe there will be one, but I'm just like shocked because like Talmon was like, is she, can I say that? I don't know. Uh, Reaper. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I put that over here before. Was that meant to be there? Oh, is it backward? I don't know. You know, I'll I'll put Reaper there too, just because I feel like Reaper is a cool car. And again, uh, the cuteness factor. So I'll put you over there for the cuteness factor. You know, judging by the fact that I feel like I got that Reaper out of order, I don't know. Now that I, I feel like it's probably like a card that it's probably decent, but like not worth much. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Some things, you know, you just have a hunch. They feel like they're good to use, even if they're not worth much, you know. They're resourceful. Hey, Gilmon, okay. And the blue card, I feel like I, feel like I got that before, but yeah. 
Nice, nice, nice. I feel like am I getting these in the proper order? I don't know. Um. Oh, they're both rares. Okay, because I'm trying to think which one goes where. Because... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I put this one there before. And you know what? No, I'm just I'm gonna put that there. And he's still a Digimon, so I feel like I'd rather him be there just so then he has priority to be like if I put in a binder, you know, before the other cards. I don't I don't know. I feel like there's no real thought process. Is there? No. Actually, no, there really isn't. You know what? He's still a rare. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna put him there. <laughs> just because you know, I'm still gonna separate everything usually at the end by like rare and all that jazz, so yeah. Oh yeah, so. Oh no, that's not the blue chip. I thought it was. It looks just like it. Okay. Offense. Interesting, interesting. Oh, is that an egg? Yeah, it is an egg. Because I was gonna say, it looks like a baby. Cyber Draymond. I love how this looks. And then, wow, look at this, everyone. Just appreciate this. Galantmon Crimson Mode. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, okay. So I'm, I'm happy with that one, just because, like I said, the, the cool factor. You know, I just feel like it was just such a very interesting um, design that he has basically, like, a lance. Uh... Or is it like a spear? No, no, I'd say like a lance. Um, I feel, it's just like, I don't know, you don't really see that many dope characters with a weapon like that. Okay, Reapermon. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, do we have three hollows? Oh, no, no, Reapermon isn't hollow. I just got excited because I love the design. Okay, so Cyber Draymon again, and Dobermon. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so they're both rares. Yeah. So, I know, that's what's so confusing. I don't know where to put them where. But, wow. Um, I'm just... Okay, so Reapermon is uncommon, but I'm just, like, blown away how cool this design looks. Wow. Okay, so this is a card that I just... I, just, I love looking at that card. Wow. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. Even if it's not a hollow, I just love the effort they put in because again a lot of them i'm sure are kind of like clips taken from the show and then you know just put onto the cards but some of them also look like they just have cool styles and also again keep in mind this is still like a full artwork design on it you know so the fact that they still do that effort and to like have the words printed on it because you know they care they want to make sure everything is legible you know besides just looking cool so that way it's actually playable so i appreciate that <sighs> I'm tired from all the greatness. Um, but yeah, I like how they have a lot of eggs because I, when I looked into, you know, how to play the game, like, you know, I think you have like five or six eggs and like, they're good to have. Okay. Sakuya. Oh, it's also funny how they're literally together because she literally, uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, the form where she's like morphed inside. So yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Again, uh, you know, you won't have me reacting to like, oh, we just scored big money because I don't know how much everything is. I'm just taking out the whole stack left because look at that, we got a lot. And also, I like how the packs are thick. Um, besides the cardboard themselves for each one, I feel like, you know, they're not overly thick, but I feel like they got like some nice uh, heft to them, you know, because I feel like some cards are so flimsy for some games. And it's like, it's annoying because then it, I just feel like it just makes it harder to like sleeve them and put them in a binder. Because some binders, you know, it's like, it's a struggle to put them in. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, Mother D Reaper. This is an interesting looking design. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. And a Terrier Mon. Alright, so again, both rares. So, yeah, I'll, um, you know, whenever I see a double rare like that, I think I'll just put them both there if I do notice it. Or if one really looks cool, I'll just, you know, put it on the right. Um, because, you know, I like to always showcase the pile that I think, like, is cooler first. And then I'm like, all right, here's the one I'm just going to speed through that is, you know, less cool. Um, uh, I'm sure it's still cool to see me, you, if, you know, you're like, that's my favorite Digimon. Or, I don't know, I'm doing an old man voice, because even though we were probably all... 
in elementary and middle school watching this, but you never know. Actually, was this made even before I was born? I don't even know. I'll be real. I was born in 97, so I'm 24 right now. And I keep forgetting some of these shows are like older than me, which is wild. Nice, nice. Um, which, but I mean, I, but that's what I love about it. You know, you still grew up watching it, you know, because it's, as your brain is forming, it's like, oh, it's recepting well to this stuff, which is why you continuously love it years later. Well, actually, no, I feel like some, a lot of kids watch the same stuff, but didn't like fall in love with it the same way. Dope design too. Oh, Kaluman. Again, probably, I mean, actually, I'm sure people use it. Oh my God, Maggie Dream on, look at this. Look at this. Just literally appreciate this. Appreciate this beauty. Oh my God, it's it's a super rare, but again, I don't care that there's higher rarities. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, okay. And don't worry, again, everything is getting sleeved. I'm just, you know, trying to be fast, like Sonic. Faster, faster, gotta be, was that Sonic? I don't even know. I, I mean, I, that's what I hate. It's like my memory will think of something, but at the same point, it's like on the fly. It's like, how strong is my memory? Even that, the fireball is just amazing. Because I'm just literally imagining, oh, literally, there we go. Just doing it. Um, and then Anti Lehman. Okay. Nice, nice. Again, only a rare, but still just amazing. I, I remember, what was it like? Uh, her and then, what, she also had a brother. They were dope. Um, cause it's like they start off as weak Pokemon, but then it, oh yeah, well, cause also she was with her brother. So that's what I liked. It's like the Digimon were brother sister and they were brother sister, and you know, then they literally saved the day together. As true heroes of the Digimon world. Digimon, I remember, uh, it's like, it's like Digimon champions, and then it's like one part was like, I literally. To this day, I'm trying to remember what they said. This almost sounded like Digimon garlic. Like garlic. Like, I literally was like, did they say garlic? Like, I, I don't know what they said. Like, garlic champions? I'm, I'm like, I like garlic. But I don't know if it's like because of them. Again, more full art, which is nice. Yeah. And that's the thing also. It's like, to a degree, I'm like, uh, like it, it's so confusing. Because, like, I can't even tell if, like, full art for some cards, like makes it any better because I'm like if they're still like a non I guess main character from the show I'm just like I'm like less excited because I'm like darn you know I loved him I pulled him in uh, one of the last openings I did for Digimon because I always loved him Hitmon again oh so the non full art this time interesting 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 all right, we're almost done. I think we have like five left. Okay, I just counted off camera. So yeah, it looks like five. Ah, we're we're almost there, people. Okay, so if you're hanging on, please drop a like, a comment, ring the bell. Um, what else do other YouTubers say? I don't know. I'm not really someone that like tells people like you need to follow and all that. <gasps> okay, I'm putting you down. What did I say earlier about Bezelmon? How I wanted Bezelmon? Look at that. Look at him. He was just so cool. Literally, he evolved and got a leather jacket. And then also he had a dope motorcycle. Uh, he was just such a cool character. Again, only an SR, but it doesn't matter. Because of the appeal and love I have for this character is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I literally... I don't think, I don't know, it's tough. Like, would I ever spend money on singles in Digimon? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe one day. And he probably would be a card I would get a full playset of. Um, and I think in this game, is there a limit on cards? I Because um, I know Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm so used to it being like three, and I feel like Pokemon is four. And I want to say Digimon is four also, not because it ends with Mon, but I don't know. Well, anyway, I don't even know if it would be good to have so many... <sighs> oh, oh, that card. Wow. I'll, I'm yawn. I was, uh, I don't know. I woke up like, what, four in the morning today for no reason because I think I like went to bed like early because I was just so drained. This is lovely looking card. Yes, the Leomon. I feel like this definitely also had a full art version and that makes me sad because I would love a full art version of Leomon. But, um, yeah, it's so annoying, you know, because uh, like, you know, obviously some days for work. I need to get up crazy early. 
And you know, I did that last week. I had some days where I had to wake up at like four in the morning, five in the morning. But uh, but today I didn't need to. So I'm like, gosh, body, why are you doing this naturally on days where I don't need to? So I tried going back to sleep, and you know, but uh, again, the Reaper mod, I oh, God, I love it so much. Again, this this card is just something I will always want. Okay, so now we have three Cyber Draymond. So again, I don't know. Maybe that will be useful for, uh, you know, a deck. I feel like it could be Dobermon again. Ah, I feel like I don't. I don't know if I care for Dobermon so much. Unless I'll use Dobermon to evolve into him, because at least they're the same color. I think. Oh no, that's like purple. That's black. That's. So that's not even helpful. Not even helpful. Look at that. I got excited, and then I realized I can't even, you know, have them be buddy-buddy. They're not buddy-buddy. Ah, how dare they. But also it's interesting, um, I don't know, it's like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the one game where it's like, even if an archetype or kind of background isn't the same, it's easier to blend cards together. But here, it's like, I feel like it's so tough to like blend in more than two different kind of cards. Because, like, you can't have, like, a green and yellow together and then magically also add a red, you know? Like, I feel like that would be just so difficult. <sighs> this is crazy. Another... We're getting a lot of duplicates now, and I'm not... That doesn't really make me happy. This is the last pack magic. It's one thing if it's, like, duplicates of a card I like. But if it's a... Like, if it's cards, I don't really care for the artwork. E again, even if they're worth a lot of money, and you're like, how can you complain? Like, I don't... Like, I don't know or care about the value of the cards. It's... It's literally for my enjoyment. I like seeing new things. I like seeing things that I like. So, and we ended on, yeah. So I'll do a quick recap because who doesn't love a good recap? So the box topper is in the sleeve. So Leomon, Bezelmon, I love you. Oh, and then Mega Draymon, I love you. You know what, I can't complain because I'm still happy with a lot of these. Look at these. Even though I feel like a lot of these I'm going to move to that left pile because a lot of these are probably rare. Oh my god, this is probably one of my favorite pulls. You know, let me put that back there and look at that with the other, um, Meggy Draymond. Yeah, look, look at this. Oh my gosh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wow. All right. And now just what I, I, maybe there's cards in here that aren't rares, but I feel like I just put in everything that I didn't value as much. But yes, look at this, look at it, appreciate it. yeah. See, there we go, I love that, it's just, right? Was, was the Antolmon back there? Yeah, so, do they have the same stats? Yeah, so they're basically the same, same stats, it's just like, this is the full art one, which is just a lot cooler. Yeah, so maybe I'll put that full art one in the right pile. I probably will. You know, I think I'll probably arrange it also with full arts. Because I like that. You know, that's what I usually do. Because again, it's my binder, so I do what I want. You see this? Oh, I want you in full art. <laughs> yes, thank you everyone for enjoying. Stay happy, stay healthy. And yeah, if you have any questions or recommendations, definitely let me know. Okay, because if there is a comment, I will respond. I will like it. And I want you to like the video too, and you know, give any feedback, subscribe, all that jazz. And we go over every card game basically imaginable that you know tickles my fancy. So I'll see y'all later. Bye bye now.